Hey everybody, this is Joe Cubicle, and this is my first tutorial. It's going to be for Vegas 8 Pro, how to increase the quality of the video preview when you're editing. Now a lot of people have posted complaints on the internet on how to get rid of this or how to fix it. There's a built-in feature in Vegas that lets you kind of get around it, but it doesn't really fix it. That's the pre-render, and we'll cover that in just a little bit here. So Vegas is up. So what I'm going to do, I think, is drag in a clip. So here I'm finding my clip. Busy Saturday. And there I'm going to drag in one of these MP4 files. I'm going to drag in two of them for comparison. Or not really comparison, but to show. Now this is without doing what I'm about to show you. There's me standing and approaching the camera. Notice the two black lines on either side of the clip down in the preview window. See, I've not custom fit the project to the clip. And that's what this tutorial is all about. I'm going to drag in another clip because I'm going to demonstrate how it looks going from one clip to another with a butt cut and then a transition, a crossfade transition. I'm shortening up the clip, the first one, and then I'm butt cutting the uh or not butt cutting but i'm just butting the second one up against the other one and there you can, i'm just playing it without custom without using the custom properties and as you can see it's pretty choppy okay i'm going to drag the second clip over the first and show you how it plays Okay, a little bit of transition happens. You can actually see it in the preview window, but still, it's nowhere near acceptable as far as I'm concerned. There's a good example right there. It was real choppy, and it didn't even show the transition. It just jumped from clip one to clip two. Okay, so what you want to do is go to File, and then click Properties. As you can see, you've got all these different choices. And down at the bottom, I've already made a few custom property settings. Now there's my 3x4 YouTube, but I'm not going to choose that. I'm going to click on the yellow match media settings folder. And um, then I'm going to navigate to the folder where my clips are that I just dragged into my project. Okay. And it doesn't matter because these are all the same. So I'm just going to pick one of them and then hit open. And then I'm going to hit, there's all the settings that auto imports I'm gonna hit apply and then okay and notice in the preview window that the two black bars on the left and the right disappeared now my project is uh, holds the properties there you see the transition look at that it's very very smooth now the project holds the, the properties of those clips Vegas uh, I guess you could say smartly read them into the project and now that uh, it helps out a lot. Vegas knows what to do with your clips and the transitions and uh, the effects and everything work 10 times better. And that's a good way to do it. Now there's another way to do it where you, you highlight a section like I would highlight from the first clip into the second past the transition and hold, and then press shift B. And what that does is a pre-render. And then once it's done, then you hit the space bar to play it and then it plays pretty smoothly now that works great every single time but that takes a little bit of time because if you select a large region then you have to wait a while for it to pre-render but anyway that's a good way to uh get around the choppy preview in sony 8 pro thanks for watching this is joe cubicle go to joecubicle.com for a lot more cool stuff thanks